Another thing I'm going to be doing today is figure out, figuring out the switch situation for the antenna, for the power antenna. Um, if you remember back in a later, earlier video, I, I installed the radio with the sub and everything, and I do not want my antenna to go up whenever the radio turns on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the cigarette lighter as a switch. So, as you can see, like any cigarette lighter, there's a coil in there. What I'm going to do is cut that coil out and then basically take the coil out and I'm going to solder a wire from there to this outer ring. I soldered better, but I'll get the job done. Cool. Looks like it works. I grabbed the wires from a donor vehicle and uh, put some new insulation on the connector so that way nothing shorts out. All right, I got my little adapter harness made, and I have my uh, cigarette lighter. All right, I have everything installed now. I have my my den, my cup holder, my ashtray. Everything's put back in and ready to go. This is all done. Right now, the antenna is down. As soon as I press the cigarette lighter button in antenna starts going up and it'll stay up until the button's pressed. Release the button, should go down, and then I can also pull it out and nobody ever knows. Nobody will ever know that that's a switch. Except for everybody seeing this video. Should go down again. Power up the radio, should go back up. But then wait, I right, pull the plug, and down it goes again. All right, that's I'm having too much fun with that, but it's a nice, sneaky way of having a switch. Anyways, that's that. Just want to show you guys my little setup. Thought it was kind of cool. I'm trying to keep it look as clean as possible in here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, and appreciate all the support and the subscribers. If you have any questions. Feel free to ask me, and uh, keep an eye out for that next video. See you guys.